Stephen Lang, a seasoned actor with a diverse portfolio, has made a significant impact on the entertainment world. Whether it's through his compelling performances on screen or his memorable stage appearances, his career showcases his talent and versatility. For many, the first recognition of this actor may differ. Some may remember him from famous roles in movies, while others may have first seen him on stage. Regardless of where you first saw him, his presence is unmistakable, leaving a lasting impression. Among his many roles, one might wonder which best represents his career. From commanding characters to emotionally charged performances, he has shown a range that makes choosing one defining moment challenging. As we reflect on his career, we invite you to share your favorite memory or personal experience related to this classic actor in the comments below. Your stories are valuable, and we would love to hear them. Stay tuned for more insights into his journey, including funny, shocking, and poignant facts. Keep watching for an engaging exploration of his career. Share your thoughts and experiences in the comments, and let's celebrate his contributions together. Stephen Lang is known for his roles in various movies and TV shows. Some of his notable projects include Avatar, where he portrayed the character Colonel Miles Quaritch, and Don't Breathe, where he played the blind man. Fans might want to check out these must-watch movies from his filmography Avatar, his portrayal of Colonel Miles Quaritch, an antagonist in James Cameron's epic science fiction film, is a standout performance. Don't breathe in this suspenseful thriller, he takes on the role of the blind man, delivering a chilling and intense performance. Tombstone he appears as Ike Clanton in this classic western film, which boasts an ensemble cast and gripping storyline. Gods and Generals he portrays General Thomas Stonewall Jackson in this historical war drama, showcasing his versatility as an actor. Public Enemies he appears as Charles Winstead, an FBI agent, in this crime drama directed by Michael Mann. For those new to his work, these movies provide a great introduction to his talent and range as an actor. Whether you're a fan of action-packed blockbusters or intense thrillers, his performances are sure to leave a lasting impression. Running the famous actor's studio in New York with Lee Grant, Al Pacino, and others, he has four kids Noah, Grace, Dan, and Lucy. In the movie Gettysburg, he played George Pickett, and in its prequel Gods and Generals, he was General Stonewall Jackson. He was one of the few actors in both films, speaking at the 2011 event for Gettysburg National Cemetery. He's known for his great acting across many types of movies. His passion for acting and roles makes him special in Hollywood. His work brings characters to life and touches people deeply. Stephen Lang's work in film and theater keeps inspiring audiences everywhere. In his portrayal of Major General George E. Pickett in Gettysburg, he showed a strong connection to the historical context. This interest extended beyond the screen. He helped dedicate a memorial bench for Michael Sharrow the author of the film's main source, The Killer Angels. The bench was placed next to George Pickett's grave in the Hollywood Cemetery in Richmond, Virginia on July 3, 20, marking the 145th anniversary of the battle's final day. His involvement in historical films continued in Tombstone, where he played Ike Clanton. Notably in Gettysburg, he acted alongside Sam Elliott and Buck Taylor. The movie displayed his versatility in portraying characters across different historical periods. In Crime Story, he took on the role of Addy, David Abrams. This project connected him with Dennis Farina and Bill Smitrovich, both of whom also played roles in producer Michael Mann's film Manhunter. This collaboration showcased his ability to work with other actors in various cinematic landscapes. The themes of history and collaboration run through his filmography, showing his commitment to authenticity and versatility. These connections, both on and off the screen, add depth to his cinematic experiences. Nominated for Broadway's 1991 Tony Award for his role in The Speed of Darkness, he showcased his talent early on. His father, a notable New York City philanthropist, amassed wealth through technology development. His generosity led to the establishment of the I Have a Dream Foundation, through which he gave away much of his fortune. Later, he collaborated with co-stars in Star Trek, who shared the screen with him in subsequent projects like Avatar and Conan the Barbarian. Their collaborations underscore his versatility and lasting presence in the entertainment industry. His ability to seamlessly transition between roles and genres speaks to his depth as an actor and his lasting influence on audiences worldwide. This narrative paints a picture of an artist whose talents extend far beyond the stage and screen reaching audiences of all ages. In two movies about famous people and their real life family, he made a big impact in movies. In 1993, he acted in Tombstone, which was about Wyatt Earp, who was a distant cousin of the famous lawman. 
Later, he was in Gods and Generals, where Robert Duvall played his actual ancestor, Confederate General Robert E. Lee. He went to Swarthmore College in Pennsylvania and graduated. Then he started a career that mixed his acting talent with a sense of importance about history. He did a special show called Beyond Glory, where he played America's greatest war heroes who got the Medal of Honor. He performed this show for the U.S. Senate in Washington and for U.S. troops in the Persian Gulf. The National Endowment for the Arts supported this unique show. It tells stories of people who showed exceptional bravery, showing his dedication to honoring the nation's heroes. In short, Stephen Lang's journey goes beyond acting, mixing history and entertainment, leaving a strong impression in both areas. From a family deeply tied to Swarthmore College, his parents' impact is evident all over campus, with their name gracing important buildings like the Lang Center for Civic and Social Responsibility, the Lang Music Building, and the Eugene and Teresa Lang Performing Arts Center. In portraying Major General George E. Pickett in Gettysburg, he faced the tough realities of filming, including a fall from his horse during the crucial Pickett's charge scene, all captured for authenticity in the final cut. Amidst the challenges of production, there was a moment of camaraderie when he lost his tobacco pouch. A Confederate reenactor, fully embracing the role, offered his own pouch as a replacement, symbolizing the shared dedication to the craft. In these instances, the dedication and authenticity of the performances shine through, reflecting not only the commitment to the craft, but also the bonds formed on set, enhancing the portrayal of historical narratives. In various movies, he played important people from the American Civil War, showing characters from both sides. He acted these roles so well that people really liked watching him. In Gods and Generals, he was Confederate General Thomas Stonewall Jackson, showing his strong leadership. Then, he became Union President Abraham Lincoln in to Appomattox, showing Lincoln's leadership and kindness. But people didn't just like him for playing historical figures. In Beyond Glory, he played eight Medal of Honor winners, giving a really great performance that everyone loved. This role showed that he's good at playing different kinds of characters, and he even got nominated for an award in 2006. He comes from a mix of backgrounds. His parents were from New York. His dad's family was Jewish, coming from Hungary and Germany. His mom's family was mostly Irish, with some German too. All these different parts of his background make him who he is. Through his acting and his life story, he keeps inspiring people. Stephen Lang is really good at telling stories and showing history. This is something people will remember for a long time. Stephen Lang, who used to work as an assistant district attorney in Manhattan for many years, now leads the Institute for Innovation and Prosecution at John Jay College. He lives in upstate New York after previously living in Santa Monica, California. Stephen Lang has moved from working in law to teaching it. He now helps train future lawyers. He enjoys the quieter life upstate and spends his time teaching and guiding students. This change hasn't made him lose interest in his work. In fact, it's made him more passionate. He wants to make sure that justice improves for everyone. His teaching and leadership are making a big impact on the legal world. His influence goes beyond the classroom. He's not just teaching about the law, he's teaching about making things fair for everyone. From portraying a tough colonel to narrating gripping audiobooks, Stephen Lang has shown his versatility in the entertainment industry. He explored the minds of serial killers in movies like Manhunter, and The Hard Way, where he had the chance to delve into complex characters. Manhunter, based on the book Red Dragon, allowed him to dig deep into the intricacies of such roles. In audiobook narration, he's been recognized with awards like the Audiophile Earphone Award for his engaging performances. One of his memorable stage roles was as Colonel Nathan R. Jessup in the Broadway hit A Few Good Men. While Jack Nicholson made the character famous on the big screen, Lang's portrayal on stage fascinated audiences with its intensity and seriousness. Moving from stage to screen shows how adaptable he is as an actor, adding richness to characters in different mediums. In summary, his journey through various roles, whether on stage or screen, shows his dedication to acting and his talent for bringing diverse characters to life, leaving a lasting impact on viewers. Stephen Lang, celebrated for his role in Crime Story, smoothly transitioned into the Hannibal Lecter trilogy. In the movie Manhunter, he starred alongside Dennis Farina, and Bill Smitrovich, creating a memorable cast. In The Silence of the Lambs, Buffalo Bill was portrayed by Ted Levine. Beyond movies, Lang's family ties add another dimension to his story. His son, Noah, is a film producer and writer. Together, they've worked on projects like The Monkey's Paw and Sunbelt Express, showing their love for storytelling. Interestingly, Lang almost got a role on Desperate Housewives, but lost it to Stephen Culp. 
Despite this, Lang's career shows his talent and adaptability. His dedication to acting is clear in the different projects he's done. Whether working with his son or on other films, Lang's involvement shows his commitment to storytelling. Over the years, he's made his mark on every project he's been part of. In summary, Stephen Lang's journey in entertainment reflects his acting talent and collaborative nature. The work he does with his son and in the film industry shows his lasting influence. In the world of theater, he played Happy, one of Dustin Hoffman's sons, in the famous 1984 Broadway revival of Death of a Salesman, alongside John Malkovich. He also starred in the TV version of the play in 1985, directed by Volker Schlerndorf. In movies, he was Ike Clanton in Tombstone. The director, George P. Cosmatos, said he was drunk for much of the filming. In Manhunter, he was Freddie Lowndes, a reporter for a gossip magazine. His car's license plate says got you at about 54 minutes into the film. Stephen Lang has shown how good he is at acting on both stage and screen, playing a variety of roles. Honored with a degree from Swarthmore College in 2010, Stephen Lang's accomplishments reach beyond the screen. He's known for his roles in various films, including connections with actress Julianne Moore through the Hannibal Lecter series. In 1986, Lang starred in Manhunter, while Moore appeared in Hannibal in 21. Interestingly, both also had roles in the Fugitive series Lang in the 2000 remake as the One-Armed Man and Moore with a small role in the 1993 film. In Tombstone, Lang plays Ike Clanton alongside a cast that includes several actors featured in films directed by James Cameron. Michael Bean, Charlton Heston, Bill Paxton, and Billy Zane also share this connection through various Cameron-directed projects, showcasing the interconnected relationships within the film industry. These examples highlight Lang's diverse roles and his connections with other notable actors, providing insight into the collaborations and shared experiences within cinema. In 1989, he received the Joseph Jefferson Award for his supporting role in The Speed of Darkness at the Goodman Theater in Chicago, Illinois. This recognition underscored his talent and commitment to the craft. He demonstrated his skill and versatility on stage, captivating audiences with his performance. The award marked a significant milestone in his career, showcasing his dedication to the art of acting. His portrayal in The Speed of Darkness resonated deeply with audiences and critics alike, cementing his reputation as a formidable actor. Throughout his career, he has continued to deliver compelling performances across various platforms, solidifying his status as a respected figure in the entertainment industry. Despite his tough guy persona in movies, he surprises many with his hidden talent writing plays. Beyond Glory, a one-person show based on the stories of eight Medal of Honor recipients, shows how versatile he is. He not only wrote the play, but also acted in it, showing he's more than just an actor. His dedication to telling stories really stands out, making his work more interesting. Apart from his tough roles, his dedication to honoring real-life heroes says a lot about him. This shows that actors can have many talents, not just one, as seen in Lang's career. In a somber twist of fate, his life took a tragic turn during his early years in the industry. Before finding fame on the big screen, he suffered the loss of his father, a successful businessman, to cancer. This profound loss left a lasting impact on him, shaping his outlook on life and influencing his dedication to his craft. Despite this heartbreaking setback, he persevered, channeling his grief into his performances, ultimately becoming the acclaimed actor we know today. His journey serves as a poignant reminder of the resilience of the human spirit in the face of adversity, inspiring countless fans worldwide with his talent and determination. In an unexpected turn, despite his tough exterior on screen, Stephen Lang faced a devastating loss in his personal life. His father, Eugene Lang, tragically passed away due to complications from a stroke when he was just a teenager. This profound loss left a lasting impression on him, shaping his outlook on life and influencing his approach to his craft. Despite the sorrow, he persevered, channeling his emotions into his acting, creating performances imbued with depth and authenticity. This early experience of grief undoubtedly contributed to the seriousness and intensity he brings to his roles, making him a compelling presence on screen.